One question we occasionally get from farmers is how do herbicides break down? Why do some herbicides carry over and others don't? So we wanted to kind of get into that a little bit today. Well, we're talking about chemicals. And yep. you know what? They're, they're, they're just made up of various things found in the environment and they're going to break down over time back into their original state. So there are a number of different ways in fields that different chemicals that we put out there are going to break down. They aren't going to last out in that field forever. So let's talk about some of those things. Yeah, but in terms of this original state thing, I don't know if I would agree with that 100%. Well, okay, they're made out of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen and a few other elements and they're going to be broken down eventually back into those things. You know, it's just building blocks and they are put together to control a weed. That's fine. But you know what happens? You spray, let's say you sprayed something out in this field, Brian. Let's say it was, it was corn last year. You yep. sprayed a product out there. Well, what is that product? It's a selective product. That means it controlled maybe broadleaf weeds and it didn't control grass weeds. Okay, so what happened? Do the grass plants not take that product in? Of course they do. The grass crops are able to metabolize or break down that herbicide where the broadleaf products are not. Okay, so that's the first thing that we wanted to talk about is when you spray a herbicide out there, it is much more likely to disappear if you've got lots of weeds and lots of crop that can absorb it right away. So we often talk about this when it comes to products like say atrazine, for example. Atrazine actually, to human beings, it's just as safe as table salt. It has the same LD50 as table salt. Now don't get me wrong, we don't want you sprinkling this over your cereal or anything or you know over your meat, but my point is simply that if if atrazine gets into somebody's groundwater, it's probably not that bad unless we have a very high dose. So you say, well, how are we going to get a high dose? Well, if you spray your atrazine out, let's say very early in the spring, what's going to stop that atrazine from going way down into the soil if we get tremendously huge rains? Well, right now, we don't have a lot of heat. We don't have a lot of biological activity. We don't have any crops, any foliage out there. We don't have any roots in the ground. I mean, and all these things could break that atrazine down before it would get down in somebody's groundwater. So with atrazine, we don't want to use it right now. We want to use it post-emerge. Well, the timing is definitely a big deal because plants are one of the ways that you can break down herbicides. Now you hit a few others. One of them is photo decomposition or sunlight breaking down those products. And another thing is rain obviously can move them through the soil profile so they're no longer going to work. That doesn't necessarily break them down, but at least gets them out of the root zone so they no longer are controlling things. So there are a number of different things that can happen. Ah, but you missed my favorite one, Brian, biological activity in the soil. You know, there are some products like eradicane or eptam, for example, where there are certain soil bacteria that really multiply when these products are around because that's their favorite food source. Okay, but this biological activity is going to occur much more when you have your soil pH right, when you have the right amount of soil moisture. I mean, there are just a number of different factors there. So the reason why we're talking about all this stuff today is we just want you to understand there are different environmental conditions that could mean you might have a carryover issue on your farm this year, or you might not, but you have to take a look at all these different factors. Well, there are certainly a lot of things we could talk about when we discuss breaking herbicides down in fields. One of them that we mentioned earlier was weed uptake. We've got lots of our weed of the week out there. We'll show you what can control this weed coming up next. Next.